Hi, and it's Pentecost Sunday. This is the culmination of the Easter season. I can't believe that the Easter season is, is almost over. But this is a season that really helps us stop and pause and think about what our mission is going to be about. When you think about it, have you ever gone to visit someone or maybe gone to a meeting and you've really been like sort of dreading it? You're sort of de-energized. And then all of a sudden, after talking to that person or going to the meeting, you come out completely energized. What happens? It, it changes you. It brings new life into you. And that's exactly what this feast day is supposed to be about. It's to remind us that there was new life that was bred into the apostles. They were scared. They were filled with doubt and confusion. And Jesus said, I will be with you always. And I will give you the spirit in your life to be able to do the things that you need to do and that God wants you to do. Well, I'm sure a lot of them doubted it and didn't even believe it. But when the Holy Spirit came down on them, they were so on fire that people had a gift of understanding, even if they didn't speak the same language. And so that's for us too. We have to take this time to reflect and to say, you know what, this is a busy time of year for many people. It's a time that we're running around, if we have smaller kids or even larger kids, to their different games and their activities. It's a time that we're going to graduations, First Communion, confirmations. There's so much stuff that's going on that we can find ourselves sort of dragging ourselves to different events. And yet, sometimes those events completely change us and bring new life into us. That's the same new life that Jesus wants for each one of us. And what we have to stay focused on, because when we have new life, then we are then, we are then able to continue the mission of Jesus. We can bring Jesus in every situation that we go into, in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions. We can be energized every day because we take all the worries, all the confusion, all the doubt, all the burdens, and we put them in the hands of the Lord. And we say, Lord, help me deal with this stuff today. I don't want to deal with it, but I know I'm going to have to. That's what Pentecost is all about. It's a free choice that we have. And Jesus gives us that free choice. He says, you can walk away and you don't have to choose it. But let me tell you, I can tell you from my own personal experience, that when you say yes to God, no matter how you think you can accomplish something, God is going to work through you. God is going to help you by bringing people into your life that will bless you and encourage you. And that's what I want to do for all of you this week. To encourage you to come and worship with us here at Church of the Nativity of Stewardship Parish in Midland Park, New Jersey place where we are journeying together and bringing all of our cares and worries and placing them on the altar of the Lord and letting God transform them for his good. We have our women's retreat that's coming up June 7th and 8th, a 26-hour retreat starting Friday night going to a Saturday night. It's open to all women of the parish. The theme is body, mind, and spirit. Great time for you to get away for just a few hours. As you can see behind me, we have our Ten set up in the backyard of our rectory. We're getting, we're very excited tonight. We have our reunion of discovering Christ and uh, getting ready for our next phase. And also, then this weekend we have a lot of celebrations going on because it's the birthday of the church. So we're having a special appreciation party for all of our volunteers here. And in conjunction with that, one of our seminarians, Emmanuel Agu is becoming a deacon. So he'll be Deacon Emmanuel Agu. And so we are celebrating with him on Sunday afternoon too of this wonderful achievement in his life and for the life of the church. God bless you.